<gülüyor> Elhamdülillah. Elhamdülillahi Rabbil Alemin. Ve salatu ve selamu ve la nebijina Muhammedin. Ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecmain. Amma ba'd. Fa'udhu billahi mineşşeytanirracim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi işrah li sadri ve yassir li amri ve hlul uqdatam min lisani yafqahu kavli. Rabbi zidni ilman ajmain inşallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the session my Dear brothers and sisters, inshallah, you all had a very pleasant, peaceful, and enjoyable Eid get together with your families. Now, inshallah, we'll resume our classes. Now, we are going to do today, brothers and sisters, uh, Fiel, huh? lesson 29. So I go to the key and start lesson 29. <clears throat> this is a very interesting lesson. Something different, different. Huh? And we have to use a lot of our uh, intellectual capacities to understand how the changes take place in the three letter verbs. It's very fascinating. I want to caution you <clears throat> that there are so many things in this lesson. If you do not understand everything today, what shall I say to you? Don't worry. Don't worry. Always remember Rome was not built in one day. I did not get all these things the moment my teacher started teaching me. It took me a little while. And inshallah, if you get it well and good, it all depends on how you have been doing your conjugation because doing conjugation is key to success. If I want to become very fluent and strong, in Arabic verbs, I have no choice but to do conjugation. More and more conjugation. The more conjugation we will do, we will become more fluent and very knowledgeable. Now remember, my brothers and sisters, this is the key to success. The key to success is to do conjugations and understand them. So we are, I'm going to teach you this. So let us see, you will find it and inshallah interesting. And I'll be hinting you because I always think about easy way to teach you and make you understand. Easy, easy way. Huh? With little bit jokes here and there, with the songs here and there. And that's the way of my teaching because I feel if I have to make you sit for two hours to understand something. I have to make it entertaining also to some extent so that it's enjoyable to learn Arabic with a little smile on our face, inshallah. <clears throat> I've sent you so many uh, little things uh, in the last two, three days. You will inshallah read it, try to understand it. I'll show you what I've been sending you. <clears throat> now, we have uh, what we call it uh, different titles for different different groups of verbs, you know. As you know, Ajwaf, Nakes, Misal, 
all these are different types of verbs, you know. The scholars have given them the title to differentiate between them. Huh? So this lesson, the verbs are called Muda'af. Huh? It's called Muda'af. Muda'af. It is coming, coming from the Afa. The Afa, Form 2, we are going to do Form 2 and everything very soon, inshallah. I'm, I'm very excited to start Book 3 with you and tell you more about verbs. So the Afa is Form 2. Those who are in Sunday class, they will know Form 2. Meaning is to double. What is the meaning of the Afa? to double. Something is being doubled in here. Hmm? That is what it all means. Something is being doubled here. What is that thing? What is the sign of a double letter? It's the Shadda. You know the Shadda. Shadda means the gene is coming twice. The gene is coming twice. And also understand if the gene is coming twice or ra is coming twice or meme is coming twice or radda dal is coming twice shakka kaf is coming twice the first gene has a sukun and the second gene has a fata so that is why it changed to hajja hajja uh, so this has got two genes. The first gene is sukun, and the second gene is fata. So it became hajja. Okay, so now we have something very new. So now I will go and explain you everything. The mudaf of verb. In this verb, the second radical and third radical are identical. Yes, this is the difference be between this category of verbs and what else we have done before. The mudaf, uh, this is the English mudaf verb. In this verb, the second and third radicals are identical. Now, inshallah, I'm hoping that you will become uh, fluent in saying mudaf, huh? mudaf, mudaf. Huh? The verb is mudaf. It is coming from da'afa. I won't go in detail, but maybe in, in book three, we'll go in more detail what is mudaf. So here we got it. The verb hajja is originally hajaja. Huh? See, ha three letters. Huh? The root letters, three letters. Hajaja. The verb hajja is hajaja. So we have here fa kalima, ain kalima, and lam kalima. Now it is very difficult to pronounce hajaja. So what happens, you know, that we give a sukun here. On one gene, we give sukun so that we can pronounce it nicely. It is still three letter verb, it is still hajaja, but now we say hajja, which means it is like I've written here somewhere, I'll show you uh, that we change that. Uh, let me write it down here. We change this into sukun, so it became hajja. So all of them are changed like that. Huh? Fine. We <coughs> so the verb hajja is originally hajaja. 
here both the second and third radicals are gene. Here are the changes that the mudaf verb undergo. What are the changes? The second radical uh, loses its vowel when the verb is, is not dead to the sakin pronouns. Uh, it is hajaja, but the second radical loses its vowel, which is the jim, uh, which is the jim, uh, this jim. Maybe I should remove this. Originally hajaja, the second radical, this is your second radical. It loses its vowel, that is the fata. If it is removed, fata is removed, then of, your, of course uh, it has to be changed with something kasara or dhamma. If you don't change it, then there is a sukun. So it becomes hajja. Huh? Okay. Now it says it happens when it is isnade. What is the meaning of isnade? Huh? When it is attributed. Huh? When it is attributed to uh, sakin pronouns. I have done it. I will do it again. I think this time you will master it. You have already mastered it. Uh, there is another definition. Pronominal. Pronominal endings to the verb. Pronominal means relating to or resembling a pronoun. That is it. I have sent you here today a dictionary of Medina books. Everything in Medina books in one dictionary. Uh, Brother Yusuf Jamal so very nicely sent me the PDF and I have sent all of you. Now this is a small dictionary, but it is most useful incredibly useful. May Allah bless Dr. Abdurrahim for helping us with so many books. So this is the dictionary of words, words, uh, words coming in Medina books. Everything is explained. So you will go there. It's not. So you will go to the Sanada. Sanada. When you go to the Sanada in that dictionary, I have sent you. Huh? I have sent you. You'll go to that dictionary and you will see what it explains. Huh? So now it says Sakin pronouns. And then we have here Sakin pronouns and Mutaharik pronouns. So, my brother and sister, what is Sakin pronouns? What is mutaharik pronouns? We know pronouns very well, alhamdulillah. But what is the sakin pronouns? No, I will explain you. I have to go back. Today I will explain you thoroughly, inshallah. You will be, you will be very comfortable by the end of the day, inshallah. <clears throat> Let me go here. I got two, three options. I'm just wondering which option to take. I'm just wondering. Yes, maybe I'll go here. I may go here. See, please watch me carefully. I'm trying to explain you. Watch me carefully. <clears throat> I am doing only five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Huh? The scholars say the file in these five verbs, which is hua, huma, hum, hiya, huma, only hua, huma, hum, hiya, huma. <clears throat> the file is a pronoun, but it is a, with a sukun. Now, this is something we have to remember. 
we know the pronouns, but here these are pronouns. They are coming as a file. Remember, always remember. Fiel ke saath saath file chalta hai. Every time there is a fiel, there has to be a file in the sentence. Either it is inside the verb, or it is outside the verb, or it has been mentioned before the verb. The file will be there. If it is mentioned before the verb, then it will say mustatir yaudu Allah. It 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 directs us to the one that was before. Huh? <coughs> now, now here, I just request you to accept what the scholars have said. I just accepted it. I did not argue with my teacher. Why? Why? No. He said these five these five uh, the file is a sakin pronoun. Acha. Fine. So I can see here brothers and sisters I can see here Aleph. I can see Val. I can see Aleph again. See here, there's a sukun on vowel. What is on Aleph? There is no vowel sign. So then it means it has got a sukun also. Huh? These also have a sukun. We understand because now with the study of Arabic, we have opened our minds, we have opened the eyes in our minds. We have eyes in our minds, you know, which can look deeper into something where our physical eyes cannot see. So now here are three. So how do you say it is five? How do you say it is five? Because this, the scholars have, remember what I'm saying, scholars have defined that even the Zahaba, and Zahabat, uh, the file is Mustatir and it is classified as a Sakin file, even though it is a Huwa, but it is classified as a Sakin file. So we have to remember. So when you say Sakin file, it means the first five Huwa Huma Hum, Ya Huma. That's all. They, they are called Sakin file. See? Here uh, we say Mustatir, we can understand Mustatir, Huwa, Zahaba, and when you say Huma, Zahaba, there is the file Alif. It's called Alif of Dual, Alif Musanna. And what is the file here? Wow. What is it called? Wow Jamaati, Wow of plural. And then here again, Zahabat, Mustatir. Huh? Mustatir, this is Tao Tanisi. Huh? See, this is Tao Tanisi. Huh? And Aleph is the Aleph here. There are different names, but don't worry about it. I have written here Aleph Vikaya, but some people say no, there is a different uh, word for Aleph Vikaya in uh, uh, other books of grammar. I say to myself, don't worry, brother. You can say that, or for ease, I say Aleph Vikaya. It protects the Aleph. It protects the Aleph from getting mixed up with other vowels. And now here, this is very interesting. Uh, here, the Habat, same thing. Uh, it is uh, Mustatir. So it is also classified as Sakin file. And then here, it is the... Tao Tanisi and Aleph. See, now we have here Tao Tanisi with a sukun, and I put the file there. So, what is on file? Also, sukun. There's a sukun here. There's a sukun here. So, this is also. Now, there are two sukuns. We cannot pronounce two sukuns. So, why did, what did we do to get rid of this 
situation, we put a fata here, huh? just to avoid two sukuns. So zahabat, and then it became zahabata. Now, I had no courage to tell you all these things in the beginning. No, no, no. As a teacher, I have to wait till you become mature. You become strong in your mind starts to analyze and think, inshallah. So now you see that, fine. And after that, after that, we have hunna. This is important. Most important thing is here, hunna. Now, when hunna comes with nunu niswa, huh? nunu niswa, nun of feminine plural, huh? nun of feminine plural, when nun comes to join the verb, there is a condition that the Lam Kalima should get a sukun. Always, always when Hunna comes to join the verb, uh, see we have here Zahaba, Zahabu, Zahabat, Zahabata. Now it became Zahab. Zahab, Zahab. This is starting at Hunna. And then everything, this is the condition with Hunna that everything that will follow me, you will give them the same treatment, uh, same honor. So we have here Zahab, 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 all the way down. Uh, Zahab, Zahab, Zahab. So, so it's very easy in a way. It's a fun in a way. So I have, you know, tried it, but I will say it again, that after Hunna, what happens? Are you listening? Ta tuma tum. How did I say? Ta tuma tum. Ti tuma tum na. Tu and na. That's all. You just say zab 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 zab, and then you add the you add the file. What is that file? Ta tuma tum. Ti tuma tum na tu and na. Just no brother. There is nothing in other grammars so fascinating and so enjoyable way to 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 understand and sing also. Remember, you have to sing also. So this is it. Now I am going back. Now I am going back to, where shall I go? Yeah, I go to the key. Let's see. I have written everywhere, so sometimes I get confused. Huh? I get confused. So here is a Sakin pronoun. When the Sakin pronoun comes, the second radical loses its vowel sign. Huh? See, it becomes sukun. So then it became hajja and hajju and hajjat. Did you get the idea? And when you get mutaharik pronouns, then they open up and have proper vowel signs on everything. See, hajaja became hajaj. Huh? Hajajna, hunna, hajajna, hajashta. Ajashtum, Ajashti, Ajatunna, Ajashtu, Ajashna. Did you get the idea? Inshallah. Now I again move from here. I'm going back uh, to the lesson because there are exercises there. So I had done this exercise here. Huh? <clears throat> See here, exercise number 10. Dr. Abdurrahim says, Learn the isnat. Means isnat means the attribute to attribute of the mudaf verb to all pronouns in madi. Everything in the madi. All pronouns. So it is giving here everything in a mixed plate. Hamidun adda. Adda means to count. Huh? Remember, adda means to count. Huh? And then aminatu addat. No, I I, I don't like it. Huh? I want to do it in a systematic way, 
very systematic way, you know. So then I say to the way I was taught, and I found them very interesting. Then I made a little song, so you know it, you know. So here, in the five first verbs, in the five first verbs, the file is sakin. When you say sakin pronoun, means that pronoun which comes as a file. Remember, so here, alif is the file. No, vav is the five. Alif is the five. Alif is the file. They are all sakin. And the scholars of the Arabic grammar say, consider huwa as a sakin and he as a sakin. So I said, fine, Rabek. I'll, I'll remember it. And then at Hunna, we break it. At Hunna, we break it. Here, say a pronoun with a proper vowel sign on it. Did you see? A pronoun with a proper vowel sign on it. Okay. So here, can you see proper vowel sign? There was no proper vowel sign here, it's sukun. And then all of them, they are here. Should you see here? All are files with the proper vowel signs. Huh? What will you call them? Here, again, again, again here. Ta tuma tum ti tuma tunna tu ena again ta tuma tum ti tuma tunna tu ena I hope you will sing. It's fun to sing, my brothers. Now, so these are the thing here, Doctor Abdurrahim wants us to this way, but I want you to sing. Huh? Adda. So first, uh, five pronouns or five verbs. Uh, so when you say adda, so this dal has got sukun and fata. Remember, sukun and fata, which is not original. Uh, originally it is adada. But in order to say it properly, only in these five, we keep the shadda. So adda, then adda, same dal has got sukun and fata. And then addu, dal has got sukun and dhamma. Uh, addu has got dhamma on the dal because the vow is here. Uh, and addat, and then addata. Got the idea? Uh, so, <clears throat> Um adu, um adu. He had <laughs> We had a lot of fun in life classes. He had <laughs> Most of the students will say, "Ah ha ha ha." He had that. He had that. Got the idea? So these are all sakin pronouns coming as a file. That is why we did not break. Uh, uh, we did break in a way, but it is adda. Uh, adda, adda, addu, addat, addata. Uh, same way the two dals, we gave one sukun and one vowel sign. Uh, and then, then, hunna adadna. After that, brother, this is all halwa puri here. Huh? Hunna adadna. Now this, uh, you have to remember, from here, the changes take place. Did you get the idea? No. <clears throat> uh, I will say, sing one more time. My only purpose of singing is to make it little interesting and to encourage you to sing also because most of us sing, you know. Uh, uh, remember, when you go in the shower, we are always humming something, we are singing. Uh, 
So <clears throat> here also I will sing first and then I'll tell you more. The cracking of laughter, I leave it to you. He had that, you can say all, ah. <laughs> I have uh, three small children. They come sometimes to visit me. They are my re relatives, you know, beautiful children. And we all sing together. <laughs> I'm teaching them the song. And when I say, <laughs> he had that, oh, you should see the smile on their faces. And they say, shout, ah. <laughs> He had that, Huma had that, he had that, Huma had that, Huna adadna. Now it opens up, the verb opens up, and it's original. Huna adadna, because it's adada, and then it got a sukun because of Nunu Niswa. Adada became adad. Anta adatta, antuma adattuma, antum adattum, antum adattum. Anti adatti, antuma adattuma, anti adatti, antuma adattuma, antunna adattunna, antunna adattunna, ana adattunna. Tu nahnu adadna, ana adadtu nahnu adadna. So now you have to remember, my brothers and sisters. So another easy way. Huh? Thereafter, hunna. You can say ta tumatum, ta tumatum, ti tumatunna, tu ena. Cut the idea. Say it again. Now, this is my way of explaining you the Mahdi. This is Dr. Abdurrahim's way. It is nice, you know, but I think uh, I have put a lot of spices and sweet things on it to make it a little more interesting. Now, the, here, see, everything has to be talked together. Learn the isnad means attribution of mudav verb to pronounce in mudaria. Oh, 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 oh. So here again, same thing. Hamidun, yaudu. Most of the time it will not break. It will not break except in some. Why doesn't it be break? Doesn't break because the file, file is sakin. That we'll study later on. I'm, I don't want to put everything together. <laughs> no, I don't want you to get indigestion, you know. So here, my brothers and sisters, I, Alhamdulillah. No, these songs are not in the videos, you know. Videos were taken in 2006, 2007. These songs were composed later on. Some of my students know these songs. Uh, especially in new center. So I have got same thing here. Uh, same, I've divided into two groups. And I'll tell you, uh, I'll tell you. Who are you do? Whom are you Dani? Whom you do Hiya taudu, huma taudani, hunna ya dudna, open up, ya dudna, because this is the mutaharik pronoun. Only twice it will happen. Antunna ta dudna, see, nunu niswa, hunna ya dudna, antunna. Now, all these things will come in the Quran. 
and I want to see a beautiful smile on your face uh, when you come across these verbs in the Quran to tell yourself Alhamdulillah I know them I know them I have practiced very hard on it you know so <clears throat> we do it here Huwa yawdu Huma yawdani Hum yawduna Hiya tawdu Huma tawdani Hunna yadudna Anta tawdu Antuma tawdani Antum Tauduna anti taudina anti taudina antuma taudani antuna tadudna hunna yadudna antuna tadudna ana audu nahnu naudu now more to tell you about the mudarya see now what i'm telling you it's not in books it is just out of a out of, of a blue moon sometimes allah inspires me and puts words in my mind and my tongue you know so i say when you are in mudarya not in madi when you are in Mudaria, five in your pocket. So it is Hua, Hia, Anta, Anna, and Nanu. These things you can easily, easily conjugate right away. Bring any verb, give me Mudaria, and I'll write down five in my pocket. Taudu, Taudu. Again, Taudu, Audu, Naudu. Dr. Abdurrahim does not repeat this. He says four. Huh? Four. Huh? Looks similar, but I say five. One, two, three, four, and five. Any, any verb, my brother, any verb. Huh? So now, what are they? Five in your pocket. Hua, here, Anta. Antuma, no, 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 no. I beg your pardon. I should not do go fast. Hua, hiya, anta, ana, nanu. Taudu, taudu, again, taudu. So you might say, but Asif, they are very confusing. They are two times they are coming. Taudu here, taudu here. This is very confusing. So how we will understand they both look same yes that is correct the context of the sentence will tell us whether it is anta or here the context of the sentence will tell you whether it is anta or here you don't have to worry anna nahnu they are very easy to follow did you get the idea Alhamdulillah. So this is it, my brothers and sisters. So now, this is the main lesson. Huh? Again, I, I see how much we can, we can uh, finish today. Okay, how much we can finish today. We'll see. I don't want to rush my brother. I, I don't want, I want you to become very strong. And sometimes if it is, thing is revised, if it is revised, it makes a lot of sense. Huh? Yeah, this is where the main lesson, lesson 29. We are coming and starting here. But still I have to tell you a few things. So you see here, when you see this thing, then you know it has been, this, this thing has been in its original form. Huh? It's original, hajaja, 
became Hajaj, uh, his original form. Because if it is uh, not in original form, then there will be Sukun here also. We'll see. I'll explain you. Now, where shall I go again? See, I have to, there are so many things I made points and I want to go one by one. So we were here. I read again. The verb hajja is originally hajaja. Here both the second and third radicals are same. They are jim. Here both the second and third radicals are jim. And here are the changes that the mudav verb undergoes. Huh. Okay. They yeah. are same. Here it underwent change when it went sakin pronouns. Uh, sakin pronouns, you know. Hajja. So then they say, uh, let me write down here. Hajja. Uh, this changes into this. Hajja. Uh, Hajj, see you did pronounce Jim with a sukun, with a, with a touch. Hajja. So Hajja, same pronoun. And then Hajju, and then Hajjat. Uh, now, because Dr. Adarim doesn't do dual, uh, we leave it. And then when they are Mutaharik pronoun, see, then uh, it retains its vowel. The second radical loses its vowel when it is attributed to second pronouns and it re and it re retains its vowel, which is fata, huh? which is the fata here. See, this is the second radical, second radical, second radical. It retains its, its uh, vowel sign. Here it got sukun because that is the way the file is joined. Mutaharik pronoun, mutaharik pronoun, then it gets a sukun. So here hajja, hajju, hajja, and then all these things. Now I have, sometimes I really uh, marfu, marfu, mudaria marfu. Now everything is in marfu, they are all sakin pronouns, except for hunna and tunna. That I won't go in detail now, but some other time I will, inshallah. Inshallah I will. So, now, In Mudaria, Marfu, uh, Sakin pronouns. So what happens in Mudaria? Big change takes place. No? So normally, Hajja, normally, normally, look at this. Huh? See, this is to be understood. Otherwise, you can easily say it doesn't make sense. Hajaja. Normally, this is Bab Nasara. So how will you say Nasara Yansuru? So make it, this is into Nansuru. Nansuru yah, nan, yah, Juju. Yah, Juju. I think I did somewhere, I make a note of that also. It will come somewhere. See, Hajja Bab Nasara. Ya Juju. Ya Juju. Ya Juju. Fine. Again, same problem. We cannot pronounce it. So what is the way out of it? Brothers and sisters, what is the way out of it? 
we change their pronouns, their vowel signs. We'll change it. Huh? We will give Dhamma here. We give Dhamma here. We take this Dhamma out. We give Dhamma here. And we give this Sukun here. We change. The vowel signs between these two, we change. Jaha Juju, Bab Nasara, Hajaja, Jaha Juju. So it became, we don't want to say Jaha Juju together. So we then took the Dhamma, we took the Dhamma from here and put it on top of Ha. And then we took the Sukun from Ha and we put it here. So what happened now? Uh, when we did that, what happened? Uh, it became what did it became? Yeah, Juju became Yahujo. Yeah, Juju became Yahujo. Now this is it's like a Geometry and algebra, you know, mathematics here. Yeah. Okay. Yahujo. Now it's easy to pronounce and sounds good to our ears. Yahujo. So now, because these two are together, my brothers and sisters, so we give, give them a dumb. Huh? We give them a shadda. Yahujo, Yahujo, Yahujo. Did you get the idea? Now, we, how will you remember? You are going to forget it. I forgot it. The only way is to conjugate. When you will conjugate, things will come. Things will come to you, inshallah. You know, so this is Mudarya. I explained you. Tahujo, oh, Mudarya. This Dhamma doesn't go away. The Mudariya, the Dhamma doesn't go away. Huh? Except for Hunna and Antunna. Fine. So this is done. Huh? Yahujju, Tahujju. Fine. This is Mudariya Marfu. Now Mudariya Majizum. Okay. Uh -huh. Again, now we have a little problem. But not to worry about it, my brothers and sisters. Not to worry about it. Like mathematics. I used to love mathematics. I'm sure you all loved mathematics. It's a wonderful science. And where are we now? Majizum. Majizum. Now this is little, little, Tricky in the beginning, but I will try to do it for you. See, originally, huh? now that we have done it, is this proper? Yahuju, see, I'm breaking it down. Yahuju, how will you make it, Majizum? How will you make it majizum now, brother? How will you make it majizum? Because the, this is this is fa kalima, ain kalima, lam kalima. Pay attention, my brothers and sisters. Everyone, someday you will stand up and teach. How are you going to teach all these things? They are important. We cannot ignore them. So we have to learn. Here is something I have been struggling to sing, but I was not able to sing. I will try today again. Brother Abzal helped me a lot. May Allah bless him for his assistance. Now, I get inspirations, you know. So, and because things sometimes in the verbs get tough, so we want to give up. 
So here is the song. Fiel ko chhod ke kaha jayenge? What did I say? Fiel ko chhod ke kaha jayenge? If we give up, where we will go? Fiel ko chhod ke kaha jayenge? Fir Quran ki samaj kaise paenge? Then how we will understand Quran? If we give up. Understanding the verb properly because no, 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 this is complicated. No. Fir ko chhod ke kaha jayenge? Fir Quran ki samajh kaise paenge? Fir ko chhod bhi lo, ha ha ha. Fir ko chhod bhi lo, pehchan bhi lo. Understand, understand from every aspect. Why, why, why? Ye hai mifta. Ye hai mifta. Mifta we know. I put Arabic here. Ye hai mifta. Fahmil Quran ki. This is the key for understanding the Quran. What is the verb? Fil ko chhod ke kaha jayenge? Fir Quran ki samaj kaise paenge? Fir ko chhan bhi lo, pae chhan bhi lo. Ye hai mifta, fahmil Quran ki. Fir ko chhod ke kaha jayenge? Fir Quran ki samaj kaise paenge? No, it's Urdu. I, I. I knew a little an old song, so I added to it. All I wanted to tell you was, where are we going to go away by giving up verb? Huh? Without verb, we will never have understanding of the Quran. So we have to understand. Fiel kujanlo, understand it. Pechanlo, identify it every time it comes. Why? Because it is the key. ये है मिफ्ता फैमिल कुरान मिफ्ता हूँ फैमिल कुरान मुदाफ मुदाफिले दिस इज़ द की टू द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ़ द कुरान आई होप यू लाइक इट अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह टुडे आई वाज लिटिल मोर कॉन्फिडेंट इन प्रेजेंटिंग दिस सो हियर वी हैव लम यह जुज लम यह जुज सी वी दिस इज़ द ओरिजिनल हाँ ओके हज़ाज़ा � Yahjuju. From there we change into Yahuj. Hajja Yahujju. We broke down Yahujju into Yahujju. See? We break it down. Yahujju. Yahujju. Okay, Yahujju. Now you give lamb here. I have to give sukun here now. I have to give sukun here. Now we cannot. We cannot pronounce. We cannot pronounce. What shall we do? So the scholars, but the, the scholars, it is not the scholars. It is the way Allah created languages. All languages, and one day we'll read the Quran, all languages everywhere, thousands and thousands of languages. It is a miracle of the Quran. But I say to myself, and I can tell you also, that all languages are miracle of the Quran, but the Arabic is miracle of miracle. Arabic is miracle of miracle because these things nobody sat down to to arrange everything together and make a grammar. Allah made it. And the people of the desert, Bedouins, they used to speak at least two to three thousand before the advent of Islam. They had mastered their language, and they were they had nothing in them. They didn't have big houses or or big buildings or big roads or nothing. Nothing. They were surviving in the desert. Harsh climate of desert, scarcity of water. They survived that with hand to mouth, 
but they develop their language. Every night after sunset, they would sit down and those who were gifted in, in composing a poetry, he would recite the poetry and everybody would listen. And that poet had a very special honor in the community, in that tribe, you know. His job was to compose poetry, to play, praise the elders and the wars they fought and the victories and the defeats, and they were all put in a poetry form. That was their only asset, a very precious, precious asset to the Bedouins of desert. And when the Quran was revealed, it was revealed in their most beautiful language. Quran has the most beautiful language. They were all amazed. They were all amazed when Prophet started reciting the Quran. But because they, their culture was so embedded in uh, uh, worshipping the idols, you know, they were idol worshippers, they would not like to accept that it is from Allah. They didn't they believe there is Allah, but they said the the quickest way to go to Allah is through the idols. They will take us there quickly. No, idols have no place. Idol worshipping has no place. Human worshipping has no place. Grave worshipping has no place. Saint worshipping has no place. In Islam, only the worship is exclusively for Allah. And that is the message of the Quran. So they do not accept it. So what did they say? Because they believed in spirits, jinn. They said Muhammad وسلم, is possessed by a jinn. That is why he's saying all these beautiful things. It is not him. It is not God. It is the jinn who has possessed him. That is what they said. They would not accept that it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that was the thing and that happened to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he started uh, saying the verses of the Quran. They liked it, but they said, no, he is a madman. He has become a poet. We know Muhammad from his childhood for 40 years of his age. He never uttered a single poetry. He didn't stand up and say anything. He was always very quiet. And now all of a sudden, the poetry is flowing from his mouth, beautiful poetry. So definitely he is possessed by a jinn. He has gone mad. These are all the, you know, uh, way they used to criticize Prophet So I just want to, I don't know why I said this, but because I want to say it is so beautiful. Huh? So here we come, brother. Yahujju, we give here two sukuns. Oh, boy, we cannot have two sukuns. So what is this? These two sukuns are not necessary. We cannot pronounce in Arabic two sukuns coming together cannot be pronounced. We have to make some changes, vowel sign changes, eh? just for pronunciation. Eh? So then we give here, brother, I, I tell you what we give. Eh? So we, we give here, uh, you, we want to remove this kasara. Maybe I, I don't know which is the easy way to do it. We remove this sukun here because that sukun came because of lam. So we, and then we give fata. Huh? This is also gone. Huh? This is also gone. This, this is also gone. So we give a fata, fata here, temporary fata. Now pronounce, brother. Ah, I can pronounce. Yahuja. Ah, Yahuja. Lam Yahuja. So now when you see something like that, brothers and sisters, this is 
This is Majuzum <laughs> with a fata at the end. Huh? With a fata at the end. Huh? Okay, here. See, Lam Yahujja. Lam Tahujja. Lam Ahujja. Lam Nahujja. What are these, brothers and sisters? I, I'm asking you. Dr. Abdurrahim is writing this. What are these? These are five in your pocket. See? Yahujja, Tahujja, Tahujja, Ahujja, Nahujja. Because the Tahujja comes twice. Dr. Abdurrahim didn't put it together. But I want to tell you, this is five in your pocket. Yahujja, Tahujja, Tahujja, Ahujja, Nahujja. So now there is no Iltigai uh, Sakin any. There is no other Iltigai Sakin in other forms, only in this five in your pocket. Uh, but why not? Because other thing, the noon will be dropped. Noon aata hai, noon jata hai. Okay, what about Amar? How do I make Amar? Now, brother. Huh? If you want to make Amar, very easy, because we understood this. Huh? How do you make an Amar? The, what is the first, first uh, thing that we implement? We remove the Alamutu Mudarya. The sign of Mudarya is removed. Huh? Just all you do. Huh? Sign of Mudarya is removed. Huh? Okay, so what will happen? Hujja! That is the Amar. Hujja! Huh? Amar, after removing the initial Ta and the final Dhamma from Tahujja, we retain hujja. Same, same problem. Two sakins. Huh? To hujja. So it becomes hujja. Huh? I explained to you. Huh? Okay. See, if I said again one more time, I'll write it. But I don't mind writing as long as you become strong in understanding this. So I, I think we may have to repeat this lesson next week because I cannot run away. I don't want to hurry up and, and leave you in the middle of confusion. No. I, I will do all my hard work over and over again to make you strong. That is my mission. To make you fluent. To make you understand Quran beautifully when it is recited. So here we have Brothers and sisters, I it's same here, same. Huh? Uh, again, the uh, Amar is made from Anta. Huh? So Anta is the see. This is you have to pronounce this together. Huh? You will pronounce this together. When you pronounce this together, what happens? It becomes Tahujju. Huh? It becomes Tahujju. And now same process. We remove, uh, we give Sukun here. Huh? We give Sukun here. Remove Dhamma. I remove Dhamma. Let's see if I can remove Dhamma. Oh, oh, yeah, it's fine. We gave Sukun here. Okay. Now, so then we give Fatah here. So if I give Fatah here, first we have to remove this. And then it became Hujja. So this is your Amar. Hujja is your Amar. That's it. Now, I don't want to go in too much detail. No, brother. Then it will be confusing. Today only we learn 
how to make how to make how to make uh, how to make amar huh? how to make majzum we made it how to make amar now we come here i <coughs> Now I have to show you something which is easy in a way, but uh, sometimes, sometimes it's not. Hmm. Yes, it will come in the other other session. Here it says, Doctor Abdurrahim says, most of the verbs. In the mudaf, remember now. Remember mudaf, or bab nasara, hajja yahuju. That's the best example. They are bab nasara, okay. And then what happens, my brothers and sisters? There are some in bab samia, bab samia, okay. See, hajja radda. Or these are all hajaja radada. Huh? Now we have bab samia, we have shamma and massa. Shamma and massa. They are bab samia. It means, it means. See hajja, it's hajaja. Radda is radada. Adda is adada. But Shamma, what is Shamma? I used to laugh in the class when I explained. Shamma, it will remind you of a sister, Shamim. <laughs> Maybe there's one Shamim in the class. I think I saw it. So what is the root? What is the root, my brother and sisters? If I give you an example, something which is what is the root of Shamma? What is the root root of Shamma and Massa is Shamima. Um, sister Shamim. <laughs> Shamima and and uh, Masisa. Just remember Shamim, huh? Shamim, huh? Shamim too, I smell. Huh? So, Sister Shamim will always have a smell of excellent characters and kindness and manners. Huh? This is embodied in Shamim. Huh? This is my way of saying, you know, there is no, no, uh, I just made it up myself. Huh? So, Shamima. Okay, fine. Now I go to the lesson. Now we are ready to go to the lesson. And I'll do it again because explaining you now something I I do realize. I do realize that it's better if we do this lessons twice because everything is new. We cannot rush. No, 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 no. Here I will. I want to go a little further in here. I've made all kinds of notes here. Yeah. Here, Doctor Abdurrahim says, "Learn the examples of mudaf verbs. Huh? Mudaf verbs. Fine. And it, it has got the same explanation I explained you. You have it." You can see all these things. Huh? Hajja, Hajaja, Yahujus, Yahujuju, which is Yansuru, Yahujuju is Yahujja, all these changes that I explained you. But you will understand if it is Hajaja, then it is Bab Nasara. Huh? So I wrote down here for your information. All these examples Dr. Abdurrahim has given, all these examples, they are all Bab 
Nasara, Zanna Yazunnu, Izi, Jarra Yajurru, Marra Yamurru, Adda Yauddu, Sabba Yasubbu, Radda Yaruddu, Sabba Yasubbu, Sadda Yasuddu. Uh, all of them are from Bab Nasara. And Shamma and Masa, these are Bab Samia. Samia, Shamima, Shamima. Did you get the idea? I thought you should know this. Uh, so that will that will make things easy, inshallah. Is there anything more here I can explain you? Now this will do the exercise when we have time. Don't worry. Oh, here we went a bit too far. Fine. <clears throat> now we start the lesson. Al Mudarris. A Hajashta Ya Masuti Hajashta. Now I ask you, why did you break Hajaja? Hajashta? Because this is Mutaharik pronoun. Remember, Mutaharik pronoun, the pronoun which comes as a file, has got a vowel sign on it. That is why it is called mutaharik pronoun. Ahajashta ya Masood. O Masood, did you perform the Hajj? Masood said to the Mudaris, La ya Ustad, Hajja Zumalai. So this is Mahdi. Hajja Zumalai. Where is the file of Hajja? See, we have to understand this also now. So I have to break it down. Zumalau. And then you give here, yeah, huh, together. Zumalau is file, wahua mudaf, and ya is mudaf ilahi. But as soon as ya came, it became zumalai. Huh? Zumalau became zumalai, hajj zumalai. My classmates all performed hajj. Hajj zumalai. Kulluhum. Why do you use kulluhum? To emphasize, huh? to emphasize Zumalai Kulluhum, all my classmates uh, performed the Hajj. Lakin huh? Nani, but I, Ma Hajashtu, I did not perform. See, again, Mutaharik pronoun, Ma Hajashtu. Maritu, this is a new word, Marida Yamrudu, Marida to fall sick, become sick. Maritu ayam al hajji. I became sick during the days of the hajj. For bakitu, and I remain. I remain. We have done it. Baka yabki. Bakitu. No, bakia yabka. Bakia yabka. Bakitu huna. Bil madina til munawara. Mother is saying, La tahezan. Don't, don't be sad. Don't be sad. Tazan, Hazina Yazanu, Hazina Yazanu. You know, you have to, you have to understand everything. Huh? I will write down here, Bakia. We have done this, remember? So you will understand Bakia, huh? Bakitu. Huh? And this is Hazina. Hazina. Zanu. As soon as you see in the in the Mahdi uh, Kasra there, even this Bakiya, uh, Bakiya Kasra, as soon as you see Kasra there, brothers and sisters, you must know that this is Bab Samia. This is Bab Samia. You must remember. Remember, always remember, uh, inshallah. So, Yazanu, Anta Taizanu, La, this is La, what kind of a La is this now, brothers? What kind of a La is this? This is La Nahiya, it will make the Mudariya Majizu. La Taizan, it was Taizanu, it became La Taizan. Don't be sad. Okay. 
Sa tahujju, see, it is tahujju, but you brought sin there. Why did you bring sin? The sign, to take it in the future. Eh? It's harfu istikbal, that takes you to the future. Sa tahujju, amal mukbali, mukbila. Amal mukbila, amal mukbila. Now, see, I don't want to go too much in detail about the analysis. But something I will tell you, if you can remember, Alhamdulillah, if you forget, Alhamdulillah, I don't worry because they will be repeated again. Why is it this Mansu? Satahujja, tahujju, you will perform Hajj. Tahujju, sa tahujju, you will perform Hajj. Um, Mukbila, next year. So am um, is a zarf. Zarf are always mansu. So this is am, um, and mukbila is is this is al am al mukbila not manut. Next year, inshallah. Tamurru, oh, marra yamurru. Tamurru. What is the meaning of tamurru? To pass by to pass by. I am also thinking, inshallah, I have something, I, when I was studying uh, today's lesson myself, and I thought about an article that I have uh, in from my other books of Arabic that I learned. If I can manage it, I'll make it and send you, inshallah. You will read it and we'll be very happy. Tamurru sanatu. See, sanatu is the five. Sanatu is the file. Tamaru is Sanatu is the file. <laughs> Fine. The year will pass. Bisurati. Oh, quickly. It will pass by quickly. So don't worry. The year passes by quickly. Tamuru. Tamuru Sanatu Bisura. The year passes by quickly. Then the Masood is asking uh, the teacher. See. This is the cleverness of excellence in Dr. Abdurrahim's method of uh, creating a dialogue to explain us the grammar rules in the dialogue in a various way. Sometimes I used to say, upar se, niche se, age se, piche se, in various ways, you know up and down from sideways, uh, Dr. Abdurrahim will use the hevar. So now the Masood is asking the teacher, Ahajashta anta? This is Hamzatul Istifa asking a question. Ajashta, did you perform yourself, Ya Ustad? La, la, lam ahujja. <laughs> lam has come. So it was ahujju became ahujja. I explained to you how we make it, but I don't want to go now. Inshallah, you will try to understand and read it. Ahujja. I did not perform this year. Lakinnani, but I ajashtu kablahaza before that khamsa marratin. Five times. Okay. Then the teacher is saying, Ana ashammu, oh, I smell. Huh? Ana ashammu, shamma, ya, shamma, ya shammu. Huh? Shamma, ya shammu. Shamma, remember? Shamma, if you break it down, shamma, it is shamima. Huh? Ashammu, raihatan, smell. Huh? Order. Karihatan, unpleasant. Ama tashamuna rayatan ya ikhwanu. Don't you smell that uh, unpleasant smell? Bala, yes. Nashamuha, we smell it. Shamma yashamu, yashamu, tashamu, tashamu, ashamu, nashamu. Bala, nashamuha. Five in your pocket. Five. No, I want to. Now I do something here. If it is easy, I will do it. Ashamu, Felun, Mudarion, 
مرفون بالدمة فايل مستطر تقديره أنا أشمو أي اسمه تشمونا أنتم أما تشمونا تشمونا فعل مضارع مرفون بسبوت نون لأن ضواو الجماعتي ضواو الجماعتي is the file uh, which means antum uh, this is the file remember fiel ke saath saath file chalta hai uh, and then al mudarris min aina hiya from where it is adhunnu this is a very beautiful dhanna ya dhunnu to think to think i think it is min hamam uh, I I think of it from the hammam washroom. Then Abdullah says, "Naam, here min al hammami. It is from the washroom. In kumamata. Okay, okay, okay. Kumamata. Allati ramaha ahdun nasi saddat al baluata. Saddat means to block. Saddat means to block." Baluata is the switch pipe, huh? switch, switch pipe. Baluata, it blocked the switch pipe. So now here I ask you something because we did nakis and everything. So Alhamdulillah, you are good there. In al kumamata in nahr putaqidin wa nasbin. Kumamata is the garbage. Uh, some trash kumamata which ramaha no this is same here ramaha rama yarmi remember rama yarmi ramaha ha is mafulun bi now when you say ramaha ramaha okay then we come here how do you write down this together ramaha no, you cannot write. You, uh, if the ha is like that, if the ya is like that, you cannot like that. So we have to change ya into alif. Ramaha. I, I want you to see it properly. Huh? See how we change that. Huh? Rama yarmi. Remember, this is tingu alif. Huh? So, but the pronunciation is still rama. Ah, ah, ah. I call it tingu alif. It is ya. So we again stretch that ya into alif proper now when it is alif proper then you can put it together ramaha see how do you write it you will see it's in the way in the quran also hey, where is the file file ka hai? Ahadu. see as a, we have <laughs> We have to be so sharp. Huh? At times, we will work like Sherlock Holmes. We are detective, Sherlock Holmes. Huh? And we'll say, okay, I see here verb. I see here mafulun bihi. Huh? Where is the file? So I become Sherlock Holmes and say, this is the file. Oh, why it is file? Because it is marfu. But why there is a single Dhamma? Because it is his mudaf. I had done nasi, one of the people. I had done nasi, I had done his file. It is marfu bid Dhamma, wahua mudaf, and this is mudaf ilahi. I had done nasi. I had done nasi. Saddat, this is saddat. It is, see here, only you will understand that this kasra is not original. There is a suku. Saddat, because this is muannas. This is muannas. So this comes here. <clears throat> Saddat comes to break this. Sukun comes to break the iltikau saki naini. See, there is a, there is a sukun here also. So we want to break it. So then we give kasra. So, but I put sukun for you to understand. It is saddat. Now, you how will you read it? 
Saddatil Baluat, Saddatil Baluat, Saddatil Baluat. Fine, inshallah. I think you understood. Now Mudaris is saying, Manal Lazi Dafa'a Saburata. No, Manal Lazi Dafa'a Saburata. Ila Khalfi. Who push the board behind? Yeah. Who pushed the board behind now? Then he says, Ta'ala. Now this, we don't pronounce this because we stop. Ta'al. Come. This is a very common verb. Very, very calm. Used, if, if you were to speak, you will call your child, you say Ta'al. 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 Or if it is your daughter, you will say Ta'alai. Ta'alai. I will write down. Ta'al. For singular, singular, and then this is maybe I should write down here. Dal, we will learn later on how to make this. Not not today, but Dalai. Here the file is mustatir taal. The file is mustatir taal. Come, come taalay. So if you have your son uh, and uh, you want to call him, you can say taal ya ibni. Oh my son, come taal. Or if you have a daughter, taalay ya Fatima. Come here ya Fatima. So this is for. Uh, this is for your daughter, singular, huh? singular. Taal yam Said. Wa jurra, ah Jurra, see now, everything is put together here in this dialogue. Now, if I had not told you how these things are made, you will never understand. I cannot read the lesson and give you translation and say, understood? No, that is not my style, brother. That is not my style. I want you to understand it, so I think. Whether I have to study also, I have to think. How can I explain you all this thing with a little bit of fun and and joke here and there? So, so I spend more than an hour. To explain you, what did I explain you? Mudaaf. How does the mudaaf work act? How it changes? Madi mudaria. And Amar also, and we made it from Majizum also. Jurra. So this is Jarra ya Jurru. Jarra ya Jurru. Jurra. To pull, to draw, to, to pull, or to draw, or to drag. To the front. Pull it to the front. Pull it to the front. Saidu Yajurru, he pulls Saburata. Said pulls the Saburata. I love. You, why I laugh, I have so told you many times. I will always laugh at Dr. Abdurrahim's creativeness. Anta jarartaha kasiran sina. He wants to tell you about jurra and yajurru and now jarartaha. You pushed it uh, too much. Jararta. Uh, so now it, it broke it down. Jurra. This this jurra, jararta, because now this ta is mutaharik pronounced, so it broke it down. Jararta, ha kasiran, you pulled it too much. Itfa, dafa yatfa, to push itfa ila khalfi kalilan, push it to the back a little. Kalilan, push it. Dafa yatfa, you know this word, inshallah. 
יקפי. That you don't know, but you will know. Kafa yakfi. Kafa yakfi. This is your nakis, nakis verb. But this is bab daraba. Kafa yakfi daraba yadribu. To be enough. Yakfi, it is enough. Yakfi, it is enough. Utruk, leave it. Taraka yatruku al-ana. Leave it now, leave it now, for now, fine. Then now, <clears throat> Masood is saying, Ahaza, Ustad has some book, Ahaza huwa juzu al-khani min al-kitab al-ya Ustad. Is this the second juz of the book, Ya Ustad? Ahada huwa juzu thani min al-kitabi ya ustad. Is this a second juz of the book? From the book, ya ustad? Naam. Khud. Now, this is Amar we know. Khud hadhi nuskha. Nuskha is copies, plural. Nuskatun means one copy. Nusakhun is plural. Khud, these these copies who's take this no this is easy so don't worry khud hadhi nuska i will make you difficult khud is fail amal babnun ala sukun file mustatir taqdiru anta that is masud what is hadhi khud hadhi what is hadhi this is your mafulun bihi. And what is hadhi? And this is nuskha. Nuskha. These khuz hadhi nuskha. Take these copies. So what is nuskha? It's also mansub. This is mansub. This is your badal from hadhi. Because you can say khuz a nuskha. Take the copies, and or you can even say, "Khud has he take these, these, huh? these, huh? because this is plural." Wa uddha anad. Now this is Amar. Wa uddha adda ya uddu uddha. Now this is Amar. I, I I didn't write down there, but I'm telling you, uddha and count them. This is Amar. Uddha adda ya uddu uddha. Count. After a little while, he says, Adattaha, Hamzatul Istifan, Adattaha, Adad, Adadta is the file. Ha, did you count them? Come here. Now Masood replies, Adattu, I counted them. Adattu, see now, see how here. Adda, Yaudu, Udda, file here. Adatta came, and Adattu came. Uh, so beautifully use this. You should enjoy. Read it at home, home, and read it loudly, my brothers and sisters. I request you, read it loudly. Adatuha, I counted them. Here, no, you say here. That is they. Uh, these are the nuska copies. Today, so they, they are hamsun varbauna. Nuskhatan, this is singular. Nuskhatan. Khamsuna wa arbauna nuskhatan. They are 45 copies. Al-Mudarris. Nadrus wal-ana hadithan. We will study hadith now. Aktubuhu ala sabudati. I will write aktubuhu. Who goes to the hadith? Aktubu, kataba yaktubu, yaktubu, taktubu, taktubu, aktubu, I will write ala saburiti. So, faktubu hu fi dafatirikum, oh my brother. How beautiful, how beautiful. Here it is mudariya. And what is here? This is amar. This is mafulun bi. What is it?
Oku. Tubu. Uktubu plus hu. Uktubu. Faktubu. See, I did not put any sign of Hamza. No small neck of Hamza. Because this is Hamzatul Basal. So I will just say, Faktubu hu. Faktubu hu. How will you define? Now we will also define, inshallah. Uktubu. Fellow Amrin. And now, my brothers and sisters, if you forget, don't worry. Just listen. Keep on listening to me and, and pondering in your mind. Fellow Amrin, Mabniyun Allah, Hazifi, no, Hazifi Noon, yes. Mabniyun Allah, Hazifi Noon. Except, except. Anta and Amar, which is Mabnun Allah Sukun or Hazfi Harfi Illa, the others will be mostly Hazfi Noon. Huh? Huh? Remember that. It's easy, easy, easy. Because there are six forms of Amar, Mukhatab, second person, Anta, Antuma, Antum, Anti, Antuma, Antunna, but mostly we will use Anta, Antuma. Even in the Quran also, mostly will be Anta and Antuma. <clears throat> okay. Faktubuhu, Uktubuhu, Fialu Amrin, Mabniun Allah, Hazafi Noon. Where is the file? Wawul Jamaati is the file. Wawul Jamaati is the file. And what is this? Mafulun bi. Huh. All of you, Antum, huh? Antum, students, write it, feed the Fatirikum. Now, here is another thing, something we are talking about. Number. I always want to remind people this is only for us who study Arabic. You cannot tell a person who's reminding, who's memorizing the Quran without having understood Arabic language or ever, ever understood anything in Arabic language. I ask you a question. What was the first verb? Remember, verb and word. Verb is the verb, feel, and word is, is, a, is, a, is a noun or word, yes. What was the first Word or verb revealed in the Quran. I think most of you know. <laughs> and you must be smiling at my question. as such a simple question. No, it's not simple. It needs people to ponder, think, think, think. The first verb, Jibreel alayhi salam said to the Prophet Sallallahu what was it? Now you know it. Ikra! Ikra! <laughs> Read! Huh? So brother, this is Kara. Huh? Kara. Huh? Yakra. Uh, and Amar will be Ik, ikra, like that. Huh? Ikra, this is what the first word revealed in the Quran. Ikra, there's a story, very interesting. Someday I will, will do that also. Little bit of that, five verses. There were five verses of the Quran first revealed to Prophet by Jibreel alayhi salam. Ikra bismi rabbika lazi khalaka. The first word, Ikra. Fialu amrin, mabnun ala sukun. Where is the file? Mustatir takdiruhu anta. Who's that anta? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ikra, read. You read. Huh? Okay, I just thought I mentioned it, you know. Fine. Now he writes, huh? And Anasin Radiallahu Anukala Ma Masistu 
<laughs> Dr. Abdurim had to use this Masistu. Ma Masistu Divajan Vala Hariran Aliyana Min Kafi Rasulillah Subhanallah. He said, Anas Radiallahu Anhu, I never touched. The Dibajan, our sister, no, this is silk brocade. This is brocade, but also silk. Wala hariran, aliyana. Oh, this is, is a smooth of deal. Aliyana. And this is Dibajan, aliyana. Wala hariran, aliyana min kafir rasuli. Kaf, fa, is the palm. I never touch any brocade or silk aljana more soft huh? more soft aljana min kaffi rasul than the palm of the hands of rasul salah also wala shamintu oh sister shamim came now huh? shamintu huh? wala shamintu and i never smell rahatan huh? Kattu, and I, I have never, this Kattu has come here. We haven't done it. We'll do it next time, inshallah. <coughs> and I never smelled ever before uh, a more better smell than the smell of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is the hadith from Anis. Uh, Anis. Ma masistu divajan wala hariran aljana. More soft. This is smooth of deal. Huh? Uh, not superlative, comparative. You why comparative? Because min has come. Comparative. Then the palm of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wala shamim tu and I never smell ever. Never ever smell. Huh? Okay. Same. Huh? This is. Smooth, uh, comparative atiyaba better than the smell of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Alhamdulillah. A katabtum. I know here is something. See this here. I don't know why the the red is not coming properly. When you red is visible in the original copy, but not here. So I wrote here bada. Hunayhatin. Huh? Remember, this is a new word. Hunayhatin. Huh? Hunayhatin. Vada Hunayhatin. Hunayhatin is a, a while. Short while. Short while. Huh? Short while. Katabtum ya abnai. After a little while, after having said all these things, writing it on the board. Katabtum. Vada Hunayhatin. Ya abnai. Oh, my sons. What is the answer? A tulab, all of the tulab say, Lama, oh, not yet. This is Lama, not yet. Lama, not yet. Now, as we have <laughs> sometimes, so Dr. Abdurrahim had sometimes, so he added something more spices here. Huh? That we'll do all these things next week, inshallah. But I'll finish here. Lama, Ya Ali, Buddha is saying, La Tadunu, Annani Gafilun, Amma Tamalu. See, no, Tadunna, La Tadunna, is a Zanna Yadunu, La Tadunna. No, this is La Nahia, this is Majizum, La Tadunna, this is Majizum, La Nahia. That I am unaware about what you are doing. Inna ka la taktubu darsa. You are not writing a lesson. Inna ma taktubu risalatan. You are only writing a letter. Laysa kazalik, isn't that so? Rudda. <laughs> See, Rudda, Amar, 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 Amar. Rudda, Radda, Yarudu to reply. Rudda alayya, answer me. Alayya, alay, and then ya. Harshar, 
مدافع لي علي رد علي رد علي انسر مي ريبلاي مي هي سيز هي از كوت ريد هاندد ناو هي كانوت لاي ناو بلا اوف كورس هو كذلك ات از سو ماتش انا اسف انا اي ام فيري سوري يا استاذ لن اعود لن اعود لمثله ابدا now here is something i because i did not explain you so uh, we'll we'll keep it to the next time see there is a katun uh, and there is abadan these are two special things you know to emphasize and negation to emphasize and negation never never in the past and never in the future remember huh? never in the past and never in the future so lan auda whether what is this ada yaudu what is ada yaudu can you recognize it can you recognize it so this is what i want you to you know feel it my brothers and sisters i want you to feel it in china फिर को छोड़ के कहा जाएंगे वेर वी विल गो बाई गिविंग अप द वर्ब्स सो आई एम आस्किंग यू आ दू टेल मी टेल मी फिर को छोड़ के कहा जाएंगे फिर कुरान की समझ कैसे पाएंगे हाउ वी विल अंडरस्टैंड कुरान फिर को जान भी लो हा 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 अंडरस्टैंड इट पहचान भी लो identify it identify this other yahudu feel ko chan bilo pehchan bilo ye hai iftaw fam al quran this is the key of understanding the quran feel ko chhod ke kaha jayenge fir quran ki samajh kaise payenge feel ko chan bilo pehchan bilo i am saying in urdu but that but i did translate yahi hai miftahul fahmil quran ye that you understand that this is the key of understanding quran alhamdulillah i think it fit fitted here so i thought i should let you know this ah the yahudu identified this is ajwa ajwa in the middle there is alif that is the sign of its being ajwa قال يقول عاد يعود تو ريتيرن لن اعود اي ويل نوت ريتيرن لي مثله لايك وات اي ديد ناو اي ويل نوت دو ذا سيم ثينج اور ذان اجين 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 ايفر 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 اي ويل نيفر دو سو سو اي ترانسليتد هير اي ويل نيفر ريبيت لايك ذات اجين لي مثله لي مثله لايك ذات misli is the example of like that abadan lan auda so ada yaudu okay so yaudu huh? ya udu five in your pocket yaudu taudu taudu audu naudu audu put lan here make it mansub this is very easy you will just remove the ma from here and put a fata here lan auda felon mudarion where is where is it where is it ah it is here la auda فعلون مداريون منسوب بالفتا that's it فعل مستتر تقديره انا اي 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 لي مثله like that ابدا ان شاء الله so that is it my brothers and sisters alhamdulillah we finish it i did i'm i'm happy i could do this much also i hope you liked it
Inshallah, you will do all the conjugation. Read the key. Important thing, always read the key first and do as I explained you and uh, conjugate. Conjugate, conjugate, conjugate this mudaf. Otherwise, we will not understand. Mudaf needs to be conjugated because they are different. It, if it is different, then it is to be it involves more conjugation. Huh? If you are, it is only in the beginning. But let me assure you, there is ajar waiting for all your homework. Everything, your scale, all good deeds are going. We are not doing this thing to, to, to for the sake of money. We are studying Arabic for the sake of understanding the Quran feeling the miracle of Allah in the Quran. So do it, my brother and sister, as much as you can do it. So, I hope you enjoyed it, my brother and sisters. Most of you don't know, I had a, quite a bit of problem in the beginning because for about 10 days I did not use this machine. So I, it was not working with me. I called Brother Yusuf so many times. Sister Shukri called me. I could not understand what was the problem. But Allah is most merciful. Then at, after 15 minutes of time, Allah made me do something and started working. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So, brothers and sisters, we pray now for all of you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your sacrifice of time to, to study and understand the Quran and Arabic language as a hasanat in your scale of good needs, you know. Accept your sacrifices as hasanat in your scale of good deeds. May Allah bless you all, your spouses, your children with excellent health, barakat in your risk, in your jobs, in your businesses, in your careers, in your professions, in your education and in the education of your children. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with a strong memory and deep knowledge of Arabic to understand in depth the message of the Quran so that we all feel the miracle of Quran in our hearts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enlighten our homes and our families with the nur, the light of the Quran, and instill the nur of the Quran, in the light of the Quran, in our children. Amen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Keep us all safe and protected from the evil of this virus. May Allah protect the Muslim Ummah all around the world, wherever they may be residing from the evil of this virus. May Allah protect the humanity at large from the evil of this virus. See you next Saturday, inshallah, brother. Keep safe, stay healthy, wear masks when you go out and observe physical distancing and the guidelines of the health authorities. Rabbana, atina fi dunya hasanatum, wa fil akhirati hasanatum, wa kina azabun naar. Rabbana, hablana min azwajina, wa zuriyatina, kurrata ayunin, wa jialna lil muttakina imama. Rabbana, takabal minna, إنك أنت السميع العليم وتوب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يسيكون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين جزاكم الله خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته see you at 2.30 and little early next Saturday إن شاء الله